so the global economy is in bad shape. Uh, it's going into a recession. Now, a lot of people have said that, um, yeah, 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 we're going to have a recession as if it's no big deal, but they're expecting a mild recession. I see a much more severe recession. In this video, we're delving into critical analysis by financial analyst Jim Rickards, who foresees an economic storm brewing that may surpass mere recessionary woes. Rickards, renowned for his precise predictions, offers a dire warning, suggesting an impending crash that could reshape the destiny of an entire generation. Drawing upon his multifaceted expertise as a lawyer, economist, investment banker, and risk manager, Rickards approaches economic issues from multiple angles. His recent book, The New Great Depression, released amid the chaos of the COVID-19 pandemic, provides unparalleled insights into the potential aftermath of global crisis. Rickards warns about the current market's vulnerability, citing key indicators like the market cap of GDP ratio, margin debt levels, and the Schiller P.E. ratio, which signal alarming overvaluations and historic highs, reminiscent of past market crashes. He challenges traditional interventions, suggesting that in the face of unprecedented challenges, customary measures may prove ineffectual. His insights compel us to contemplate the potential consequences, sluggish growth, limited job opportunities, stagnant wages, and a cycle of debt for future generations. Join us in this video as we explore Jim Rickards' profound insights, dissect the warning signs he highlights, and uncover invaluable strategies to safeguard your financial future. Let's dive in. Jim Rickards is not your typical financial expert. He's been a crucial player in some of the most critical discussions about national security and economic stability. He's been an advisor to the U.S. government for years, working closely with entities like the Federal Reserve, the Pentagon, and even the highest echelons of the CIA. Back in the late 1990s, he played a pivotal role in preventing a staggering $1.3 trillion banking crisis that could have obliterated the U.S. economy. Post 9-11, he collaborated with top military leaders to develop a system that could predict similar catastrophic events by analyzing trading activities in airline stocks. Jim Rickards has this knack for seeing what most people don't. Back in 2008, while everyone else was painting a rosy picture, Rickards was waving red flags about the housing market. His prediction of the impending housing collapse when he wrote to top advisors of the presidential campaign about another panic spike in October 2008 was chillingly accurate. Lemon Brothers went bust, global market crashes devastated the retirement plans of millions worldwide. Approximately $2.4 trillion evaporated virtually overnight from American 401ks and IRAs during the 2008 market collapse. In the United States alone, 8.7 million individuals lost their jobs, while over 10 million lost their homes due to the crisis. Rickard's foresight wasn't just a fluke, it was a pattern. He's been inside the West Wing of the White House, the U.S. Treasury, and the Federal Reserve, advising on events that most people thought were unthinkable. Jim Rickards, with his extensive background advising the U.S. government on national security, has this unique ability to connect the dots between economic stability and our nation's security. Now, he's sounding the alarm about the current market bubble that could shake the very foundation of an entire generation. Imagine the impact of a crash on not just our wallets, but on our national security and the way our world operates. It's a fascinating but slightly terrifying intersection of finance, security, and the unpredictable nature of global markets. Jim Rickards is pointing a spotlight on interest rates and inflation as potential triggers for a severe recession. Picture this, they're raising rates and inflation is coming down. Now the million dollar question is, are interest rates coming down because they're intentionally raising them? Or have they unknowingly hit the terminal rate and things are spiraling on their own? That's a big deal. If they're at a terminal rate and keep tightening, which they are, we might be headed for a depression. Indicators pointing to an impending crash. All right, let's break down one of the critical indicators that Jim Rickards is keeping a close eye on. The first one is the market cap of GDP ratio. Now, this ratio is like the barometer for the size of the stock market compared to the entire economy. 
Picture this, back in the dot-com bubble days when everyone was rocking to the tune of internet frenzy, this ratio went sky high. And guess what happened next? Crash and burn. Fast forward to today and Rickards is waving the caution flag because this ratio is not just high, it's staggering. 113% higher than the dot-com bubble peak. Now, let's talk about margin debt. Back in 2008, before the market crashed, margin debt reached scary heights. Fast forward to today and we're standing on the precipice of history with global margin debt levels flirting with a trillion dollars. Yeah, you heard me right, a trillion. This is like the financial equivalent of playing with fire. If this borrowing spree continues unchecked, we might be staring down the barrel of a rapid and violent market correction. It's not just about the numbers, it's about the potential domino effect that could leave investors scrambling for cover. Next, let's talk about another warning sign that's flashing neon red, the Schiller P.E. ratio. Now this isn't your everyday price to earnings ratio. It's like putting stock prices on a time machine that goes back a decade. According to this metric developed by economic Robert Schiller, stocks are more overpriced now than they were even during the Great Depression. Yeah, wrap your head around that. We're talking about some seriously overvalued stocks. Lastly, let's talk about the Buffett indicator. It's like the Warren Buffett of market indicators. It looks at the ratio of the total market capitalization over GDP and right now it's shouting a warning. The ratio stands at 107.2% suggesting that the market may only yield a 1% return per year from its current valuation, considering dividends. Imagine you invest your hard-earned cash and the market's only giving you 1% in return. It's a signal that the market might be significantly overvalued. And Jim Rickards is telling us to take heed because when the Buffett indicator talks, it's usually wise to listen. Back in the late 1980s, Japan was riding high on an economic frenzy. Call it the Japanese asset price bubble. Investors and financial institutions were going bananas, pouring their fortunes into real estate and stocks. Prices soared to unbelievable heights. I'm talking Tokyo's land value being worth more than all real estate in the entire US. But like all good things, it came to an abrupt end. The bubble burst in the early 90s, leaving Japan in an economic mess. Real estate values plunged, stock prices went downhill faster than a roller coaster drop, and what followed was chaos. Now let's talk about the aftermath, a period dubbed the lost decade. For almost 10 years, Japan's economy was stuck in neutral. GDP growth stalled and deflation, which is basically prices going down instead of up, started haunting the country. And the banking sector? Well, it took a hit too. The loans that once looked like gold against inflated assets turned into a financial nightmare. Bad loans piled up and the banking crisis deepened the already messy economic spiral. Japan was in a state of economic limbo, struggling to find its way out. So what's the takeaway from Japan's roller coaster ride? Lesson 1. Effective regulation is crucial. Lesson 2. Nimble action is key. Delayed responses in implementing effective policies just prolonged the suffering. And last but not least, lesson 3. Fiscal discipline is a must. Japan's heavy reliance on stimulus measures only added to its debt pile without making meaningful progress. Now, it's time to take action and secure your investments for the challenges ahead. In Jim Rickard's groundbreaking book, How to Grow Your Wealth During the Coming Collapse, he shares invaluable strategies for individuals to navigate uncertainty successfully. The following tips will help you stay ahead of the game and safeguard your assets. Firstly, prioritize education as the cornerstone of your financial journey. Fuel your understanding of the economy, investment options, and market trends by immersing yourself in financial news and devouring practical books such as Rickard's Masterpiece. Seize opportunities to enhance your financial literacy, aiming yourself with knowledge to confidently navigate the financial landscape and make informed decisions that unlock potential growth. Secondly, diversify your investments like a pro. Avoid putting all your financial eggs in one basket by spreading investments across various asset classes, from stocks to bonds, real estate to commodities. 
Embrace non-traditional assets such as cryptocurrencies, peer-to-peer -peer lending, or venture capital to uncover untapped potential and enhance financial resilience. With careful research and guidance, these alternative options can safeguard your assets from market fluctuations. Furthermore, forge your emergency shield by building a robust emergency fund. Aim to accumulate at least three to six months of living expenses in a readily accessible account to stay afloat during unforeseen circumstances. Conquer your debt to enhance your ability to weather economic downturns, prioritizing the repayment of high-interest debt and exploring refinancing opportunities. Lastly, harness the magic of budgeting to master the art of personal finance, setting achievable goals and constantly reassessing your progress. Seek wisdom from financial gurus and collaborate with seasoned professionals to stay informed and prepared for the challenges that lie ahead. Now more than ever, conducting thorough research and analysis is crucial in making informed decisions on economic matters. If you enjoyed this video guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and watch this one as well.